this first part is about the general cytology, the structure and function of the cell, and the organelles within it. What are cells? What do they contain? And how do they work? Well, there are 50 trillion cells within the human body. And those cells are all specialized for some kind of function. All living things, in fact, are made out of cells. And those cells are all specialized to do a certain job. So what is an organism made of? Well, an organism is made of organs. Those organs are made out of tissues. And those tissues are made out of cells of a particular kind. There are some unicellular organisms that only have one cell. Uh, the amoeba is one example. It's uh, categorized as an animal cell. Um, bacteria are all unicellular. There's no multicellular bacteria at all. But there are many multicellular organisms um, like ourselves, where the cells are specialized for a particular function. For example, a sperm cell has got a flagella. It's a long tail that helps it to swim. It's the only type of uh, cell that has that, but it has it for a particular reason. Its function is to carry the genetic material to meet the egg so that then it fuses and uh, then you have a zygote which can develop into a new organism. Cells, you have the division of eukaryotic, which have a nucleus, which is plant, animal and fungal cells, and the prokaryotes, which are bacteria, which don't have a nucleus within them. So what do eukaryotic and prokaryotic cells have in common? Well, both of them have a cell membrane. It's made of a phospholipid bilayer, which controls what enters and leaves the cell. Both of them have a cytoplasm where the chemical reactions occur within the cell. And both have ribosomes, although the prokaryotes have smaller ribosomes, and the ribosomes are free in the cytoplasm within prokaryotes, whereas in eukaryotes, the ribosomes are on something called the raphiar, so they're encrusted on membranes. Cell wall is present in plant cells uh, and fungal cells. Um, and it's present in all uh, prokaryotes as well, although the prokaryotic cell wall is made of a different chemical called peptidoglycan. Uh, the, the plant cell wall is made of cellulose, and the fungal cell wall is made of a, a chemical called chitin. Um, animal cells don't have a cell wall. Um, flagella is sometimes present in both. So, for example, I've just been talking about sperm cells and uh, bacteria, like some bacteria, the cholera bacteria, needs to swim around, it lives in water, so it has the flagella so it can move um, what's called motile bacteria, it can move around by um, moving its flagella. So prokaryotes have this simpler structure overall um, to eukaryotes. They are unicellular, there's no multicellular um, bacteria at all. The DNA is in a large chromosome, single chromosome floating in the middle of the cytoplasm, there's no nucleus. There's no nuclear membrane, and there's no membrane-bound organelles at all. So there's no mitochondria, for example, there's no rough ER. The ribosomes are free, floating in the cytoplasm. You just completed your first video of the world's best medical exam preparation. Lecturio brings the knowledge of worldwide leading medical experts and teaching award winners to your PC, tablet, or smartphone. Prepare yourself and check your progress with thousands of quiz questions, customized to USMLE standards. And the very best, you can get in touch with our medical experts personally. Visit Lecturio.com now and continue with the most inspiring medical education around the globe, anytime, anywhere.